Hey there, welcome back to the course. And today in this video, we're going to talk about what are primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. So let's get started. So, what are primary colors? As the name suggests, primary colors are the building blocks of all the other colors on the color spectrum. While what the primary colors are can change depending on what medium you choose to approach them from. This will focus on traditional primaries as they are presented in art and color theory as well. Those colors are red, yellow and blue. Next we move on to what are secondary colors. Secondary colors are made by mixing together two primary colors. Secondary colors are achieved specifically using equal parts of primary colors as well, meaning you must have as much of one color as the other to achieve the true look of a secondary color. As with primary colors, this will change depending on how you approach them, but this will cover color theory for consistency. So basically, the secondary colors are green, orange and purple. To get orange, we need to combine blue and yellow, and to get purple, we need to combine blue and red. Next, we move on to tertiary colors. Tertiary colors come about when mixing a primary and a secondary color, opening up many different shades of a particular color. Essentially, this means that one primary color is featured in greater amount than the other in the mixture of colors. There are six major tertiary colors with many variations on it. These six are vermilion, which we get by combining orange with red, magenta, which we get with the combination of red and purple, violet, which we get with the combination of purple with blue, teal, with the combination of blue and green, chartreuse, with the combination of green and yellow, and amber, with the combination of yellow and orange. As with the other two categories, the exact colors will change depending on which set of primary colors you approach. You might be thinking what happened to black and white? Why aren't they in the list of primary, secondary, or tertiary colors? Black and white are special colors that cannot be made through traditional means. In light, black would indicate a lack of light. That is, no color on the light spectrum is present. While white would indicate all three primary colors of red light, blue light, and green light are overlapping, essentially being a combination of a visible colored light. This does not work the same with traditional primary colors, though as combining all colors equally will only result in a brownish color. While it is impossible to obtain a pure white supplement, the world of color is fascinating with many hidden depths yet to be discovered. Through understanding primary, secondary and tertiary colors, we can create new forms of expression and better recognize details of the surrounding world. There is much more about colors that we have yet to explore, though as different viewing mediums and associations can drastically change how colors are viewed and interpreted. So this was pretty much of primary, secondary and tertiary colors. In the next video, we are going to talk about how these colors have a great impact on how we see and approach things. So, till then, bye.